Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well. Having a really great day. I want to get straight into it. You guys have probably heard about the NVIDIA RTX LHR V2 unlocker that is on GitHub here. And there are, I believe, there are a lot of red flags. And I have went ahead and wrote down a lot that I think that pertains it to be a scam. And you guys feel free to freeze frame this and read it all. And you guys can let me know what you think down below. But I want to go through each point here and also just a lot of different stuff. Like he's got a YouTube channel, <laughs> 149 subscribers, and he's got like two videos here three and four days ago. Uh, we're going to go through these videos in this video. And there are also a lot of LHR like scam videos out there being released like every day, like every couple hours and using uh, content from other YouTubers such as myself and thumbnails from other people. It's just it's just horrible. It's just horrible. And there are. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about all that throughout this video. And he also has a Telegram channel. And the biggest thing, really, he's created all three of these, right? His YouTube channel and his GitHub, uh, his GitHub YouTube channel and Telegram all in the same day, February 17th. OK, just to verify this with you all and his YouTube channel, if we go to the about page, joined February 17th. OK, and then if we go to his GitHub, he has also joined uh, three days ago, which is February 17th as of recording this video. So let's keep going here. Going to give you guys some more information that I think is red flag. So let's go back to my sheet here. So due to the size, I placed the driver file on the private server. So this is the first one I thought was a pretty big red flag under the requirements here. I'm not going to go through. You guys have probably read through all this already. I'm just going to go through the points right away that I think are red flags. So he says here, due to the size, I placed the driver file on a private server. So Understandably, I think the NVIDIA driver is, you know, I would say a couple hundred megabytes, right? As we all know with NVIDIA.com, you go to the drivers, you download the latest driver and it could be anywhere from 300 to 500, 600 megabytes. So yes, you know, if you go to GitHub here about their size limits on their GitHub, it says here, GitHub limits their file size allowed in repositories. But if you attempt to add or update a file that is larger than 50 megabytes, you will receive a warning from Git. It says if you need higher Git large file storage git lfs uh, for more information see about git large file storage so you can put larger files on here but i guess you have to go through different a different method that's that's okay right you, you can't do it because apparently the driver will be too big what i'm really curious about is if he will also put the executable for the windows software all right that which i want to i want to show you guys he actually like he shows the install he of, of it of right right here okay and the, the the youtube video is in a robot voice and i'm not going to do that because i don't want to get copyright or whatever but uh, i'll have these videos linked down below you guys can watch these it's all in a robot voice okay and that that's another like red flag right there uh, to me when i remember seeing youtube videos of, of like scams on youtube they were in robot voices so you know with this install right if this install is going to be from on github but you can see it is downloading files right on your windows computer so big red flag there i i don't know like what's it downloading like is it also downloading not only the driver but i don't know could be malware injecting you know viruses or trojans on your computer and that's the thing right when you're gonna be if if you know if this does come out and big disclaimer right big disclaimer for all you guys please please do this at your own risk if you i'm just gonna say this here if you read all of this and still decide to do it that's on you and i cannot be held liable for any losses right obviously and uh, just to mention i don't have telegram or whatsapp don't get scammed in the youtube comments all right this is still happening to this day youtube comments are getting just destroyed with spammers and scammers and so i'm just being very like cautious here as this this windows software what it kind of reminds me of is like LimeWire or like uTorrent and you know when you you know back in the day when you installed these things you know they they injected like spyware and other stuff when when you were downloading or installing this into your Windows machine right so I'm not saying that this guy is going to be doing that it's just you know there's potential there and it's very scary that it is going to be downloading you're going to you're going to need to download this from a external server right his private server which is a big red flag there for me Okay, next one, red, big, big red flag for me is the NVIDIA BIOS is encrypted and needs to be signed, uh, will not pass checksum ever since the Pascal GPUs like GTX 10 series 
BIOS flashing other sign BIOSes has worked, but not modifying them uh, from what we have seen in the past couple of years. Ethan enlargement pill was a memory tweak injection and not a BIOS mod for the GDDR, GDDR5X or 1080, 1080 Ti's, right? This is a big one. I'm curious to know regarding, so if we look up his, uh, and look at that, it's like reading the BIOS, saving a backup, BIOS modification, writing the BIOS to the GPU. It's like, maybe it's like installing the virus, scanning your network, opening up ports to the internet, installing more malware, stealing your crypto. Like that, that's what, it, that's what, it, that's what it feels like to me. But going back to the NVIDIA driver modification here. So he says here, let's just read this. The, the first fully automated BIOS modifier for the RTX cards with LHR v2 lock uh, using it is simple, intuitive, it requires no advanced knowledge. All right. Oh, sounds great, right? He's, he's pulling you in. He's pulling you in. It enables the modification of previously read BIOS files uh, using HiveOS or other mining OS uh, and reading the BIOS from the graphics card installed in the system. Enables the modification of previously read BIOS files. Okay. Um, fi file modification and flash memory using the modified BIOS. Okay. In addition, it also modifies files in the RTX A series cards, increasing their performance at no, at the moment, no integration with more modern Nvidia graphics cards is planned. So uh, this, I have a big red flag right here with as well. So, um, but with the, you know, if he's talking about modifying the BIOS, which I don't think is possible as, you know, it goes back to Nvidia needs uh, they have them encrypted. It needs to be signed. It will not flash onto the GPU. I have no idea how he bypasses that or if that's even possible. It could be completely fake, right? It could be completely fake. Going back though, he has another video here showing the uh, hash rate. Okay, Hello on a video again. here that he posted on here February uh, 18th. And it's in a robot yeah. voice again. And you can see here... I guess it does show a Hynix GDDR6 GPU, which is uh, would be after, I believe, July when the LHR came out for the 3060 Ti's. So there was no Hynix memory on the 3060 Ti for the non-LHR GPUs. Okay, so I guess that is a, that's a real thing he shows here. So that kind of correlates with that, that this is an LHR card. And uh, previously, there was no Hynix uh, before LHR. It was usually Samsung for the 3060 Ti's. I have a bunch of non-LHR 3060 Ti's and they're all uh, Samsung and whatnot. So, but now assuming he shows here right now on minor stat, which I tried to like do some more investigative work of seeing if he like Photoshopped this or video edited this screen here, but it looks to be real, looks to be real. I, I personally don't use minor stat. So looking at this here though, 61.24 mega hash, uh, he even like highlights it, so that seems to be real. The domain minorstat.com seems to be real, and you know he's showing the hash rate here, and then he shows the uh, two miners. Uh, whether or not that's real or not, I have no idea. He's blocked out the eth uh, Ethereum address, blocked out the Ethereum address at the top uh, address bar as well. So that could be this. This could be probably someone else's Ethereum address with one. This could be a 3060 non LHR, but if you go to two miners here, he does show GDDR6 with the Hynix memory moniker here. So interesting, interesting. I'm, I'm not saying that, it, I mean, it could be real, could be real, could be fake, but going along though, going along, I want to go through more points here just to let you guys know. So, okay. So that's that point. Uh, hopefully maybe that might make sense for you. Some of you guys can let me know if that makes sense or not. Let me know. All right, next point that I think that this is a scam is he points out that the A series can boost a little bit more. And I think we all know that the A series, like A2000, A4000s, are originally non-LHR graphics cards. And normally we can get like 40 to 41 mega hash. And then on the A4000, we can get 62 to 64. I think some people can get 65 mega hash. But with what Sergey says here on GitHub, he says you can get 46 on the A2000 and then 67 on the A4000. H how is that possible? I'm not quite sure. These are not LHR cards. So in theory, I like with the current, like for example, if I'm on tech power up, if we're looking at the RTX 3070 non LHR, we're looking at the specs here, right? They're both GA 104 core on the 3070 is 5,888. The A4000 has 6144. Okay, this in terms of cores. 
Um, let's see here. TMUs, 184, 4,000, 192 TMUs, so a little bit more there. The ROPS is the same, 96, 96. Now, yes, there is a difference between the 16 gigabyte memory size and also the uh, 8 gigabyte on the 3070, which is 256 bit bus width, right? 256 bit but bus width here. So same memory type, but double the memory size. So whether or not that will give the extra two, three mega hash, what has Sergey done to get that extra two mega hash? Like, is it a, like a, what do you call it? A memory tweak, like, like a Ethan enlargement pill, you know, is that, is that what it is? But with his windows flashing software that he shows here, right? Uh, let's go here, go or here, right? That he shows here. Is it, it, it usually goes through the software, like the mining software, like a memory tweak, or uh, you're running the Ethan Largent pill injection software. I don't think this, this, this is, the, you're not running this full time with the software. It's actually writing the BIOS, the uh, modification to the GPU. So has he figured out a way to look at, look how smooth that, look at that, look how smooth that was. And actually that was, that feels like it was pretty fast. You know, that happened within a, that happened within a let's see here one minute time frame so maybe within that one minute one minute he's injecting a lot of mal malware and viruses on your pc <laughs> who knows who knows right who knows that that's scary but i just can't think of what extra optimization he's adding here to give you that extra boost on these cards i, I don't know what the normal hash rate is for the a5000 but these are not LHR GPUs. You guys can let me know what you think about that down below. All right, going along, going along. Next point is a YouTube video showing the install, downloading external files, basically saying yes, and the beginning is allowing it to do install, inject anything into your Windows machine. So this point here is this video here, okay? And when you, you know, look at that, unlocker install, that, that just looks so scary to me. And you know, you're clicking yes and yes. You see how you, you hit yes on the when you hit this button, you're allowing that software to access anything online, right? Assuming if if this unlocker install is not on GitHub here, that then and it's only you can only download it through his Telegram, that's going to be like a link in Telegram for that software. That's going to be very scary. So, highly recommend nobody to do to install that. And yeah, look at that. It, it just goes through all this. It's basically you're letting it do whatever whatever it wants, right? Whatever the software, especially if it's like closed, closed source, or you just, you can't uncompile it, especially if it's not on GitHub. That's <laughs> that biggest red flag right there. Literally biggest red flag right there. Okay. Next one is, all right, this is kind of far-fetched, but there is other scam videos using the exclamation mark uh, for the description. And uh, let me show you guys what I mean here. Okay. So there have been other YouTube videos on YouTube that are being released, like I, like I said earlier, is they're using other content creators and their thumbnails. And you can see here like Seb Heslo, and then the, I think it's Seb Heslo's thumbnail. And then inside that video is me talking about that. But if we clicked on this one, like you see here, it's got, it's got son of a text thumbnail. And then inside is the, my video. But if we click in there, you can see that this is a 8,000 subscriber channel. Can't he like, totally hacked probably and you can see a download link definitely do not click that that is fake that is you'll get massive malware all your crypto will be stolen funny thing here it says turn off your vpn for the link to work exclamation mark so i was trying to do some stylometric analysis here of the wording especially here turn off the vpn for the link to work and if you go to here it's like follow this channel for updates exclamation mark and if you go to his videos as well you know he's got available for free from February 2022 exclamation mark so I feel like this is all the same people I, I don't know if it is or not it, it could be like a a big scam group and like this could be a very 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 elaborate scam like somebody making this you know making this software executable in Windows and whatnot and I'm going a little bit far-fetched here but that's something that I noticed when I was doing some investigative stuff anyways let me know what you guys think about that Next one is Telegram asking in private PMs and DMs for people who want to donate. So I've seen some comments on YouTube of people who want to donate to this guy. And I don't have Telegram. I don't have WhatsApp. So I couldn't see any like comments being made here. But looking in his Telegram made February 17th, just recently, right? He's like posting this and he posted the YouTube video. Look at that. It looks like with the robot voice again, scam, red flag. 
and uh, it's like, oh, the RTX 3070 testing has started. 61.78 mega hash at this moment. Just going to go through some stuff here. So now he's testing the 3060 Ti LHR V2 unlocked 61.34 mega hash. And this was the next day, right? And then next one here, it says, I am working on the project documentation step by step. Uh, instructions how to use the software. Everything will be available on GitHub soon. And I did verify that seemed to be true. Okay, that seemed to be true if I went back to here under the commits. Okay, on GitHub three days ago updated the readme oh wait if we go to older uh yeah three days ago so that would be 18th yeah the 18th as of recording so he created the readme dot here and i didn't go through all the different edits here maybe there's something nefarious there not quite sure but he did a lot of edits on the readme so going back to his telegram uh, yeah he's got he's uploaded the pictures february 19th and uh, he says here please share with your community uh with the github here and i mean it sounds very it sounds like pretty normal honestly but still it, there's still a lot of red flags here that i'm still like i don't think this is real and yeah he's like my beloved i wrote back to 100 messages today that, that right there this just screams scam to me i'm very happy that you're here with me but please read what i have to Post on GitHub so far. The answer is most of the questions can be found there. Uh, the sun of it up. The publication date on the GitHub. So far, nothing has changed. The modification is safe. You can revert to the original BIOS and drivers. Uh, the modification also works on HiveOS, but requires manual updating of drivers for ones provided by me. Uh, the beta test queue is closed. I already know that not everyone will get such an opportunity, but I remember that the publication or is already in a few days. So I don't know if anyone, no one's ever messaged me about having the files already and, you know, the the beta test files or even tried it yet so i haven't been emailed anything like that and i haven't heard of anyone that has been messaged about that so at this point it still feels like a scam to me i am responsible for the entire project so i will reply to messages in my spare time to reach the publication date all right this one here i'm responsible for the entire project if we go back to the screenshots he says here on his you know the screenshots for support contact us on telegram contact us on telegram i guess it, he he's talking about like he has a team but it's it's just himself that maybe that's too far-fetched maybe that's normal as a business or something to have contact us on whatever that kind of thing in their software so yeah maybe that's too far-fetched i'm going a little bit too far on that one and going going along though guys look at this you know it just seems interesting in the past three days it's created a lot of hype right there's been a lot of hype for this and a lot of just for me it i think it just feels like a scam that is it okay and i'm just gonna end off here if this happens to come out eventually by february 26th uh, as he said in the uh, github there i will try to give it a try in a closed environment with a vpn router lever vlan new windows install atx pc with one gpu and through pfSense and snort uh, with network monitoring to see where and what is being downloaded uh, I can do a deep dive on the files, running applications on Windows, file structure, and whatever else may be. So that is if it actually eventually comes out. And if it's an executable, you can download through GitHub and uh, it's been verified and people, you know, you can you can download it and, you know, verify the code and whatever, all whatnot. I will then give it a try. I will do a dedicated video on it. But that is it, guys. Please let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. If this is some elaborate scam very elaborate scam regarding the software, mainly the software that is you are going to be installing on Windows, right? And if you're going to be doing this on a PC that you do your crypto on, that's a very bad idea. Very, very bad idea. Okay, I, I guess it goes back to this part here. Due to the size, I place the driver file on my private server. So whether or not the executable to install the software is going to be on his private server as well, all that, that is that is very that's the biggest red flag right there i would not i would not download something like this and go ahead and install it this just reeks of a scam especially with the robot voice videos on youtube like that is complete scam already anyways guys let me know your thoughts i appreciate you all be careful and i will update you all when that time comes uh please don't get please don't get scammed all right see you guys later have a good one peace out